<clears throat> All right, my friends, we are going to review Andrew Loomis methods. And uh, we're going to also look at again the um, fun with a pencil. And uh, first, let me get all my stuff here that I need: my pencils, my my pencil, everything I got here. Let me see. Uh, got the sharpener ready. So lately, I haven't been doing any uh, videos on YouTube because for some reason or something, I'm having trouble downloading videos on YouTube. I don't know what the hell is going on. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a couple of methods only and that's it. I think maybe that's it. Maybe that's maybe I'm, you know, maybe my videos are too long and maybe it's taking a long time to download. I think it has to do with the Wi-Fi also. So, and since I don't have any good Wi-Fi, um, and the Wi-Fi for some reason or something in this house is kind of like really poor. So, we're gonna work with uh, little by little uh, with with these techniques right here. Uh, this is almost like the Loomis method. It's a little bit different. This is um, this might work. So let's give this one a try. And um, okay, start with a circle. And we're not going to finish the face. I mean, I'll do some details, but I, I don't, you know, expect it to be finished because, you know, it's going to take time. And what I just want to do with you guys is show you how it's done and the rest is up, you know, up to you guys. So here would be the mouth and right here would be the chin. And the next thing I'm going to do now, and let me see if I can get this because it's really getting on my nerve, this thing here. I'm going to just bring it a little bit higher here. All right. Hopefully it'll work this time. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out pretty much. Here's the mouth. Bring it a little bit higher. And do like an open V shape. And create some type of U shape for the jaw for this part of the face all the way down and it should look like a U okay and um, you know you just play with it little by little until you get the shape that you want now the next thing I'm going to do is you know indicate the nose do sort of like a little triangle this is going to be a female so this here would be her mouth. So I kind of like, you know, measure out her mouth, the width of her mouth, the top and the bottom. Okay, here's her chin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. Okay, that would be where my eyes are. Remember the corner of the nose, I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to do another line for the eye here. But I want to make sure I got this nice and straight and even. Okay, so I'm going to indicate the eyes over here. And make sure that's, you know, even on both sides, the eye. So far, so good. Okay, so now, uh, right here would be, you know, the top of her head, which is a hairline. This right here is pretty much, you know, 
the forehead and the temples always remember the temples are important and what you want to do is if you look at the Loomis book because um, I'm gonna go back and forth and show you pretty much what you guys need to do you see these grid lines well that's what you want to see and then the eyebrow passes the grid line so the grid line from the temple line that's the eye okay but the eyebrow seems to come out for a little bit out okay so that's what you want to get the same thing applies to the female it applies to the male so once i have the grid line here for the uh, temple lines I'm gonna work with her eyebrows and just bring pretty much like that outside, outside the line. And I also wanna get, you know, that formula I usually use that when I draw the eye, it's sort of like a diamond shape. And remember that the eyebrow is two shapes, okay? Once you reach right here, it's gonna change coming out this way. So that's what you want to get when you're actually, you know, doing this process. So I'm going to get my um, my black pencil and I'm going to start working with more details. I'm going to, you know, do her eyes. Sort of like a, an arc shape. So you could, you know, draw the eyes like a like a diamond shape if you want. Uh, you could do something like this for the eyes, okay? Or you can simply do something like a diamond shape for the eyes. You don't really have to connect it, but in a form of a diamond shape. And the reason why... Uh, we have to do something like that is because that way you can do pretty much like the three shapes for the top of the eye and then the bottom part is like two parts okay and then this you know this uh this method that i did here you can just you know shape it sort of like a cat's eye so you go also when you're doing the eye you could tip it just a little bit kind of like slant it and do something like this but you got to be careful with that because you know you it's it might not look too uh, professional so um, or a real eye so you're, you're better off in just making your eyes like like this like that okay also you can you know do the arc work with the arc and then right here, you just do one side here, and then little by little, you do the tear duck, then you start shaping it. And there you have your eye right there, see? Then the eyelid. So there's so many ways of doing this. <coughs> now, um, the bridge of the nose is sort of like an open V shape right here, the center and then the nostrils okay and the philtrum then we're going to work with the lips now i'm going to work with the top of her head but at the same time, she's gonna have hair, so I wanna make the hair lines <coughs> on her face. Kinda of like make the, the cheek lines a little bit wider on the outside.
and then the neck. And you got to remember that the women's neck is slender, okay? And then for the hair, you give it rhythm. You have to let the hair have rhythm and um, the strands also have rhythm and you give it direction. Now, I'm not going to do too much details. I will give you a hint how to do the hair. Um, I should have never drew that because it's going to mess me up when I do the hair, but it doesn't matter. I can always erase that, get that out of the way, and then just measure out where the hair is going to be at. Straight down. Okay, so... I want to um, erase a little bit the outline here because it's getting too thick, the hair. So I don't want to exaggerate too much the hair. I just want to make a simple, classical uh, face of a woman here. And remember, the lips, um, you, ha you indicate where, you know, corners of the lip. Here's the center of the lip. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do the, um, you're going to work from the center of the lip, like that, to the bottom of the lip. And then the corners of the lip, you're going to start working with the outline until you keep going. And then you're going to see an open V shape on top of the lip. Then what you're going to do is you're going to close the bottom lip. I'm not going to show you the man's lip, which I've shown you already. Um, I'm only going to show you that when I do the, the male, the male character. And, um, we can fix a little bit the outline over here. Just make sure that when you're doing the outline of the hair, it's actually the, the face structure like this, you see? And then you're going to have to, you know, once you fix that, erase at least some of these little details. That, that's it. Maybe make some hair coming down this way. the root of the hair. Oh, don't tell me they're going to do the lawn right now. Hold on a second, guys. I'll be back. Give me a minute. Looks like they're star. The problem is when they do the lawn outside, it makes a lot of noise, and I won't. Then I'm gonna have to speak more louder, and I can't speak very well because uh, I've been sick lately, and uh, sort of like my voice is going. Um, so I would give myself like maybe one year to live. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'm going to last too long, so take the, the opportunity now and learn what you can from my videos and everything that I post on my group. And I just had a discussion about that on Facebook, that I don't know if Facebook is going to make my stuff last longer, 
hopefully they, they will. <clears throat> so let's do her eyes. So usually when I do the eyes, um, I'm going to do the eye right here. I do a grid line in the center and shape it like a square shape. And then shape the eye. And make sure that this side, because this is the eyelashes are coming out this way. So you want to get this effect on your eye and the tear duct of the eye. So I'm going to fix her eyes, but this time I'm going to use a pencil, just in case I don't want to make a mistake, because the black pencil, you can't really erase that much. And let's fix her pretty lips. Okay. <clears throat> It looks like a <clears throat> like a regular Loomis face, but more of today's generation. The face, the you know, how you see a lot of drawings today, how they draw women nowadays. And I gotta erase some of this construction line that I don't need. And down here, you erase over here. So I'm gonna, you know, shade in a little bit. And here is like a real mission to actually do. So you gotta be careful when you're doing, when you're drawing here. It's gonna take time to draw here. As long as it looks like a face, it doesn't have to be the best thing there is. See, when I draw, I don't expect it to become the best there is. As long as it, you know, looks like a face. That's all I'm looking for right now. That it looks like a face. And that anybody that sees this is going to say, wow, that's a pretty woman. But it doesn't have to look, you know, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to continue with her face. Do some cast shadow. Fix her nose a little bit. Always remember when you're doing the female's nose, um, the female's nose um, is very petite, so you might want to make the nostrils smaller like this. Sort of like two little arrows like that. Okay. You got to make it very feminine, especially if you're drawing white Nordic women. And I'm pretty sure all you guys know what the word Nordic is. So this is how you draw very petite looking noses. 
you can actually shape a small triangle like this. And don't forget that the bottom of the nose has got a form. It starts here, okay? It's pretty much of a woman's nose. And what I should have done, I should have never used the red because the red is very hard to erase. And unfortunately, that was the first imprint that I wanted to do with the red. But I guess the next drawing, what I'll do is uh, I'll use pencil better. Regular lead pencil. But the red is very, very hard to erase. So she's looking pretty. All right. Now we're going to do a second technique. Uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to work with these right here. These are two separate ones, okay? So I want you to, you know, pay close attention. <clears throat> so this is something from a dad can draw but I actually changed the technique a little bit so so this is what the way you it's sort of like the Loomis method except that you're working from the center to the outside of the face so what you're seeing here is a circle vertical line horizontal line and you indicate the center over here a dot here and a dot here these are going to be the temples of the face okay you add the nose Remember, it's three parts of the face. After that, you're going to divide the circle because actually you want to get the shape of, of the head. That's why you have to slice the circle. One, two. After that, <clears throat> you continue by focusing in the center. Like always, which the first thing you see on a face, when you're drawing a face, or when you're looking at a person, you're talking to a person, the first thing you see in a person is the nose and the eyes. That's the first thing I see when I talk to somebody. Well, that's the same thing you're going to do when you're drawing. The first thing you're going to see is the nose and the eyes. And then after that, you'll see the mouth. And then, of course, when, the, when that person is talking to you, you're going to see the mouth moving in certain expressions and this and that. Uh, for example, when I look at a woman talk, talk to me in front of me, I, I will just forget it like... It's like tunnel vision. Um, I just look directly in her eyes and her nose. And it's like I'm looking inside her brain just by looking in her eyes or something. But we can't read nobody's brains or minds, but it's just a figure of speech. But that's the first thing I see when I talk to a woman. You know, I look at the eyes and the nose. Okay. So, uh, again, when you're drawing from reference, always study the face. Study the face when you're looking at a face. For example, um, let me get some something that, that might be helpful over here. Okay, when you look at this face, what do you see? You The first thing you're going to see when you look at a woman's face is the eyes and the nose okay but usually when you when you're drawing people you have to focus on the nose and then the eyes and everything starts you know developing the, the eyebrows you know the lips if you want if you really want to get really detailed you can you know start working with the uh, eyelashes and this and that but you want to make sure you know make sure that you map out the face all right it's very important. 
that you map out the face when you're drawing the faces. Everything that you see on a face, you map it out. All right? So I know I had another book here. Oh, here it is. Uh, for example, Marilyn Monroe. When you look at her, of course, you're going to see some cast shadow on her face. But you're going to notice that the first thing you're going to see is the eyes and then the nose. All this here is pure, pure, you know, the sense of looking at a person. You know, for example, I, I, I just don't know how to uh, describe it. But when you look at a beautiful woman, or say you're a woman or you're looking at a man, you're going to look at the, the physics of, of the face, the physics, the, um, the features, you know, from the eyes. All this is the most important part of the face, you know. And I've shown you many times that you can draw the face using the triangle technique. Okay, so let's do this one right here, okay? And then we'll just focus little by little on some other stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to do it in um, pencil. Actually, no, I'm going to do it in black pencil. With the red pencil, you can't erase that much. So I'll use the black pencil instead. So I'm going to draw a circle. Vertical line, horizontal line. This will be my eyebrow line, of course. Then I do the dot, measure out where my nose is going to be at. The mouth, like one eye width down. And the bottom of the mouth. Then right here would be the chin. Okay, so I'm going to indicate the, um, the temple lines. Now the next thing I'm going to do is slice off pretty much the side of the head. So I'm going to slice the circle a bit here and a bit here and I want to make sure it's even on both sides. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is make another eye line. That will be for my eyes. And from the temple lines that I did, of course, that would be where my eyes are going to be set. But before I do that, I want to make sure I capture the nose first and I can use a triangle shape if I want for the nose um, work with the nose filtrum work with the mouth okay chin is okay and then little by little, what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate from the corner of the nose, I'm going to go up and that would be where my eyes are. You see what I'm doing? And that is what you want to cat, you know, capture on, on the Loomis method that Loomis explains this with the grid lines. Uh, the grid lines for the eyes of the temples. And you can see the side of the circle here sliced. That's what you want to capture. But I'm doing it a different way, okay? It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you get the idea, the Loomis idea. Okay, it really doesn't matter. You see how I'm doing the grids already? Okay, so after that, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, just to make it look like a human, a human man or something, or male character, I'm going to do, a, you know, like a goatee beard or something, right? And uh, I explained this many times, that even if you slice this here, there are, there are times that the face is going to be a little bit wider, you know, blocky, uh, this and that. And like I've mentioned before, that when you're drawing, you know, blocky faces, you know, everything starts changing. Okay, so say I, I'm doing the same thing here, right? Mouth. And this is a big guy, right? So everything stays the same, the center, the middle, the temple over here. 
but if you want to make a bigger guy of course you're gonna you know measure ex sort of like widen the outside line to make a bigger character like that or you can do it the regular loomis way that loomis would just do it like this and uh well what he'll do is he'll slice the circle first but he'll do the the size that he wants if it's a big guy a big bulky face whatever then of course this is going to be wide and then you indicate the temples afterwards so if you want to do it that way you can do it that way just be careful that when you're when you're doing the segments for the eyes everything stays aligned on both sides and even on both sides okay then you got the ears right here this and that so um like i said there's like several ways you can do this and there's another way i want to show you after i finish this one but i think that after this because um you know like i said before i've been having trouble trying to download videos on youtube so i might most likely start all over again and do another video with the other segment so let's see let's see what happens then i'm going to do the eyes the plane I mean, there's a plane between the nose and the eyes. You really definitely want to capture that. Okay, I got the planes. And then we'll do the eyebrows. And remember that the eyebrow is going to come out a little bit out of the temple line. So you want to make sure that you get that. Okay. And then here's a hairline. Okay, and uh, if you want, you can start working with the cheek lines, just about where the nose is. Um, say if you're doing the um, the ears, let's do the ears. Okay, remember you can do this many ways. You can use the Riley technique, you know, from here, from the center of the ear all the way down. That would be more like the Riley technique, or you can stick with the the Loomis method that actually, you know, you can see the the grid line straight down to where the chin you can do it that way if you want but remember that the face is always going to change especially the top the hairline here and it might slightly come out out of the line because of the um the form of the face okay and then it tapers in because usually when you look at a face sometimes you know it tapers in remember it's like when you're drawing the egg shape. Um, it tapers at the end when when you're actually doing the bottom. Okay, that's that's what you're trying to do here. So let's shape the eyes a bit. To the uh, iris of the eye. Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to do any more details. Okay, so that's how you do this technique. Now, on the other hand, let's do this one right here. And we'll 
we'll turn this one around. And I'm gonna do it in black. Black pencil. Black is black. For my baby back. Gray is gray. Okay. So this one I'm definitely gonna slice off the circle. So I'm gonna indicate the size of the head by slicing the circle. And it's like if you were using the box shape to draw the head. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to do a hint of the mustache and the beard, you know, just to make things more easier. Okay, so now I'm going to work with um, the ears. So this one is a little bit different. And uh, the nose. The eye line. Okay. Go up. Not going to do the eyes yet. What I want to do is find the temple lines. Once I find the temple lines, that's going to help me guide where my eyes are going to be at. So I'm using this line here and this line here to guide me um, when I do the eyes. So I'm going to do like sort of like a diamond shape for the eyes. And the side also. Work, work with the planes of the eyes, the eyelid. The hairline. The shape of the hairline. cheek lines the planes in the corner of the nose the iris of the eye the hair so this could be like you know a guy he could be, uh, you know, a guy that has long hair or something. Sort of like map out the outline of the hair. The center of the mouth. The bottom lip. And now I could work with the eyebrows, but when I do the eyebrows, remember, it's two shapes and the ending comes out passing the line. Now I could re erase some of these construction lines. You see the, the black one is more easier to erase. It's 
It's not like the red one. The red one is kind of hard to erase. And I can erase part of this circle that I don't need anymore. So as you're, you know, going along, drawing, you know, erase all the lines that you don't need. And then you'll get your face done more faster. We age him up a little bit. center of his nose. You could be a um, an old hermit. Okay, so that's the way I would probably do it. And remember, there's two ways of doing this. All right, guys, that'll be it. And I'll continue with some more stuff on the next segment. I wish I could do a little bit more, but I'm having trouble trying to download the videos. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this.